back out on the bike, being away. Cass and I got a bit of plans in the mid-term future to head over to the US and hire bikes and ride Moab. That should be fun. It turns out all those national parks over that way, you're not allowed. It's a big, it's, um, I think it's, it's $5,000 fine if you get caught using a drone over there in the national parks. Slidey, the old red clay just there today. This is what I was saying about flow. Just keep flowing on these little bikes to keep your speed up. I'll just chuck on another camera here. It's behind me. And see if I can get some rear wood. I assume I will. Where's the button? Oh, there's a button there somewhere. Yep, there we go. Like you just don't roll, you don't go all brakes, you just keep it on on a nice boil of six to seven thousand. in front of you and just go down to the gear to keep it up up in the revs that's a little just that little bit full of water so These um, Michelin Tracker tyres, the front in particular, they're good. They're, the only thing they don't work in is sand. So if you don't ride a lot of sand, it doesn't matter. But they work in the mud, gravel, rock, clay. Oh, they're a great tyre. Got a foot pegs digging on this, so I've got to keep a bit of mo mojo going. There we go. Oop. Tree in the way. Damn gimp, getting all squirrely. Ride 
ride mountain bikes on sort of blue trails and even blacks I know what I'm talking about when it's uh, coming down to the flow to just keep that rhythm going like you come into this corner here bad bumps but whatever instantly on the right rev range how good is this thing so you've gone down the gears I need so I'm already on the throttle Wearing me former boots, Whew. that would have yanked me ankle. Because now, if I go back to like, I see a lot of people ride. They'll ride along and they'll they'll be get it up in the ribs, and they'll come to a corner and they'll skid, 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 and then they bog down then they've got to go down a gear that's where you lose your momentum on these little bikes you can actually run them quite low in the revs and still have a good pace like if I go up here I just get it up into a higher gear There's fifth, it's not really revving, but you just keep on flowing through the corners, put your foot out, get your bum crack over onto the edge of the seat, to the opposite side of the corner, and there's top gear just cruising, wave through, see that was a front end lose, no big deal, if you cross the centre line, if you actually cross that centre line and you lose your front end, you can pretty much guarantee that as it loses it, it'll grip when it hits the other side. It's a good hoot. This little bike really is. stuff you can pretty much go as fast as anybody else through the scrub through the bush just on these tight roads tracks but even oh, where's a siding here here we go there's something else I was gonna say too people are putting uh, big bore kits on these why 15 cubic centimeters more really why what a waste of money uh oh track's gone oh well I think we'll go through here ah what have we got here interessante
they're not a high powered bike anyway. If you wanted more power than these things are giving you to, for their purpose, why didn't you buy a 450? You know, that's that's what I think anyway, it's my opinion, nobody else's. These things it's to hoot. I got a 300 two-stroke husky at home, like, and it can really motor. But fun factor, these things are the bomb. Yeah, come around the corner here. Whoa, here we go. That's full slick mud there. Whoa. I think we'll go up here. I wasn't going to ride down there, screw that. <laughs> Covered in crap. See how I loaded that clutch thing? Because these things will not just pop the front wheel up without loading that clutch up a little bit. There's a couple of things in the... No, I've got to be careful through there because there's a couple of things that will actually stake your tyre in those holes. I don't know if somebody's drove them in the ground or something. Anyway, we shall bop down through this and up the other side. And pestle. The old res has got a bit of water in it. in there This used to be a mecca years ago when, when I was a kid. They used to have big bonfires there and there'd be 30, 40 dirt bikes out here. From kids on peewee sized bikes. Oh, they actually, way back then they were like a little DR, uh, DS80s. And the early DS80s had full lighting. Stop tail, little horn, headlight, high and low beam. They were cool lads. They used to be a thing called ba Baha Bahama, Bahama Orange, I think the colour of them was, back in the 80s. Then they went to that yellow and dropped the headlight eventually and then it come back again, I think, and I don't know. Awesome. But we had everybody out here, all the way up to CR500s, the old 86 model, the Death Trap one. They, they were unreal, them bikes. I've ridden one of them and whoa, he's boggy in there. Um, those 86 and 85 CR 500s, whoo, they just go, they just, you're riding along and they just go ding, ting, 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 front wheels off the ground. <laughs> There's no, 
they're like an on off switch <laughs> it was cool as though my favourite though of all the big 500 two strokes was a KX about a 93 was a good one I want to go. Now the sun's out today, which is awesome. It's been so crappy, the weather. Actually spun then at the end. I was clicking for third, and it spun. Oh well. So if you're just out cruising, you can see how this clay here. Ooh. I was saying that track it just works in that stuff. Everybody loves a wheelie. The old cemetery. I go past here fast because people could still be grieving. They might be visiting, just having a visit, but they might actually be grieving so do the right thing cruise past We don't want to go. Downhill off camber, yay! They're fun. Needle throw those rocks just then. I don't know if I think that might go into the driveway that way. That's a sign. Uh, burn off sign still there from when they. Toasted the place. Oh, hey. you got to love a little bit of slipping and sliding. We need this track in a long time. I think it's pretty rocky down here. Remember, oh, yeah, a few rocks, mosses. I'm looking about 10 15 meters out in front of me, picking the line before I get to it, and you bit through all that all pretty good.
back to the semi. I wonder where that track goes. I seem to forget a lot, a lot of these trails. Ooh, gorilla snot. Tree. Uh, the track again. Oh well. Oh, well. I think we're going to come out on a road here, so I might call it a day. Like and subscribe. <laughs>